Correcting Stellar Aberration with Ricardo's Aberration Remover in SETI Astro Suite Pro. Welcome to SETI Astro. As always, if you don't have the newest version yet, head over to SETIAstro.com under Astro Program, SETI Astro Suite Pro. Be sure to head over to the download releases here to get it from the GitHub or the Mir site to get it off the Google Drive. Okay, we're up to version 1.0.5. I think the vast majority of the initial release uh, bugs have been fixed, uh, but I'm really excited to talk about Ricardo's aberration remover that I got in here. Currently, uh, Cyril also had it as a, as a script in there, and Ricardo is or was the mastermind behind the deconvolution that Graxpert was trying to do before, I guess before they went separate ways or whatever, and he spearheaded his, his own stellar aberration uh, AI modeling. So what this is going to do is um, kind of like a correct only for star shapes. So this could be ran right before Cosmic Clarity Sharpen. In fact, I would recommend it. I would recommend doing Ricardo's Aberration Remover, then Cosmic Clarity Sharpen. Although Cosmic Clarity can remove some amount of stellar aberration, uh, Ricardo's Aberration Remover is hands down uh, vastly superior. So you're going to get correct star shapes and then you can sharpen up the whole image uh, with good PSFs after that. So you could find it under Cosmic Clarity Aberration Corrections, mostly just because I, had, I needed some spot to put it. Or you could find it on the toolbar right here. There's this RA Aberration Remover. When you click on it, it's a very simple interface. When you first get it, uh, the model will be blank. And you're gonna have to click download the latest model. That'll go to his GitHub repository actually and pull the latest model that he has. There's also uh, a little note here that the bottom of the weights are, are Ricardo's and for more information, you can click there. It'll take you over to his GitHub. To run it is really simple. After you download the latest model, you just click run and it's gonna run. So I got some different examples here. I got some um, star shapes from an SCT. I have some various star shapes from uh, my refractor that we can look at and then uh, some corrections on my newt. So let's go ahead and uh, run it on some of these. So let's go ahead and look at some SCT ones first. And we wanna go right, right in the corners where it's gonna be worse anyways. I'm gonna click Ricardo's Aberration Remover. I already have the, the latest model and I'm just gonna click Run. And now you can see the before and the after. And I, I'll, I'll make this bigger so you can see. There's the before and the after, and the before, and the after. All right, let's go ahead and run it on this other SCT image that I have here uh, with some even wonkier stars up in the corner here. Just gonna click on Ricardo's Aberration Remover and click Run. And now you could really see how the star shapes have been uh, reformed and circularized a, a bunch. So here's the before and the after. All right, let's move on to some of the refractor aberrations. So refractors have a different type of aberration and um, a lot of the time they may have some of this astigmatism and in two different planes, all this stuff kind of getting you these little, these little cross shapes for stars. So let's go ahead and just run Ricardo's aberration remover. And there we go. Now here's the before and the after greatly knocks down those uh, those weird shapes for sure. Again, the before and the after. Now we can look at one that has a bunch, a very dense star field. So this is actually uh, the Wizard Nebula area. So let's go ahead and get zoomed right up in here on one of these corners where the stars are grossly misshapen. And let's check out the aberration remover. So I'm just going again, click on Ricardo's aberration remover, click run. And there we go. We can look at the before and the after. And again, this is not uh, sharpening the image. This is just trying to correct the stellar aberrations it's finding. And then let's go ahead and look at one with my uh, newt. It really doesn't have uh, bad aberrations. Uh, in it, but it's still worth uh, a good look to 
So just see how the aberration remover still helps stars that really aren't that bad shape. So this is the corner on my newt. It is a, a fairly well corrected instrument already, but let's go ahead and do Ricardo's aberration remover. Click run. And there we go. It, 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 it circularized them all very well. Like I'll go to the before and the after. Much better star shapes. So now let's go ahead and look at uh, running cosmic clarity in conjunction with Ricardo's aberration remover. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this wizard nebula again. I'm gonna make a little little clone of it here. So we're in the corner, I'm going to, I'm gonna undo the one. We're gonna go way up in the corner here where the, the stars are really bad. And let's run Cosmic Clarity on both of them now. So one that has gone through Ricardo's Aberration Remover and one that hasn't. So I'm just going to sharpen. We'll keep them consistent across both. We'll just do 0.7, non-stellar and stellar, and execute. All right, Cosmic Clarity is done on the one that didn't have any aberration removal done. And there's still a, a fair amount of aberration left there. So now let's run it on the one that's gone through Ricardo's aberration remover. And again, we'll go to the same 0.7 on both to have a good comparison. And now we could really see the difference. So let's zoom in a little bit further here. And I'll copy the zoom across. So now this is with no aberration remover, just cosmic clarity on the left and with aberration remover and cosmic clarity on the right. Nice circularized stars, much, much tighter. They just work hand in hand so well. So in your linear state, when you're gonna be doing your sharpening, run Ricardo's aberration remover first, and then cosmic clarity sharpen second, and you will have a much superior sharpening than um, e either alone, right? So really excited to get this into SETI Astro Suite Pro. I think it's really going to help propel SETI Astro Suite Pro into some real serious processing as well. And I hope you all get a lot of use out of it. Please comment, like, and subscribe.